Welcome back, everyone. We've got a pretty exciting one today. It's not incident management, okay? So we're moving into some of the other process areas. Um, common example here, okay? This is ServiceNow request fulfillment. So you have, as you know, in ServiceNow, for those of you that use it, you have a request, which has the REQ ID, and that's for the end user. And then you have the requested items, and then you have the SC tasks. Um, you And of course, you may or may not have um, requested items or SC tasks. But just to go through an example, so for a new hire request, okay, that's a request, um, you know, that's the overall request, and then that's where the end user submits to the portal. Then you have the requested item, and um, that'll be, you know, your iPhone, your email account, your Active Directory, etc. Uh, those all come along with in a bundle with that request. And then underneath those, you'll have the tasks potentially for the uh, fulfillment side, so they'll be assigned to fulfillers. Now, the, the core problem we're trying to solve here is that you have bottlenecks. So end user requests something. In this case, okay, 438,000 requests in the database, and uh, some have great resolution time, some don't. Um, it might be because there's no assignee. It might be because uh, there's an approval that hasn't been uh, issued. Okay, so a number of different reasons for the bottlenecks. But the key is you've got a whole lot of data and you want to find the ones statistically that are not being fulfilled in a timely manner. Now, one of the core architectural problems with this is the volume of data in the join. So you have three different tables there. Um, and in the Northcraft world, those become dimensions, okay? So that's what we have there for you to, um, to hide the complexity from the end users, okay? That's what we're doing essentially with those. And it also allows you to connect to multiple data sources and bring them together. So I know that it, it took a while to kind of land the plane there, uh, but I do want to give you a backdrop before we get started. Two features I want to highlight today. Number one, and this is new from Microsoft Power BI, not a Northcraft feature, but it's the ability to adjust the KPI colors to account for changes that the end users can make rather than having Northcraft do it, um, to um, change the color of the KPI um, to indicate whether green is good or, or you know, or if, um, I'm sorry, decreasing resolution time uh, is good or bad, you can, you can actually change that now as an end user. Uh, then on the, uh, on the architectural side is, is showing you server side mashup because we covered client side mashup. So um, if I'm bringing together some of these tables together so that I can show where the bottlenecks are. I want to do that in a single report, not go into multiple places. So server-side mashup is where we bring together multiple dimensions, in this case these ServiceNow tables, be it a request or requested, requested item or SE task. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. It's going to be very fast, but there's a lot of explanation required. Okay, so first with the, with the KPI target, you'll now see this new icon here. Uh, you know, the paint roller, and I've got my color coding option here. So here, our median hours to fulfillment is low. It's below the target of 24 hours. It's one hour. And uh, we want to indicate that low is good, so that's green. We're, we're beating our target. Um, okay, so really, really simple feature that's been added there. Next, um, on the drill down side here, okay, so I've got a matrix widget within uh, Microsoft Power BI. And um, you notice the top layer here, I've got my measures and KPI. So percentage of request tasks meeting SLA, my median hours to fulfillment. As I select these different items, you'll notice all of the data adjust, including our granular drill down data. But in order to find the bottleneck, I want to bring together information uh, from you know not only the request side, but also requested item and the SE tasks uh, to see where those bottlenecks are. So I wanted to show you how here you can see multiple dimensions here, which on the back end are tables within ServiceNow. Okay, and we can have up to 10 dimensions here available for you. 
Um, you want to be very careful about just unhiding those for users because if you have 10 different tables and all of the corresponding fields, it can be, you know, there can be some usability challenges with that. But there are not performance challenges. So for some of your process analysts, as they're coming up with these dashboards and reports, they're going to want to mash up that data together. But they're going to want the data to remain live because this is an ongoing dashboard, an ongoing report. Problem with client side mashup, as we discussed in one of our other videos, is that it that data is static. So you can use it for analysis and throw it out. But here I bring together this information into a single report. Bam, there we go. So you can see the link with linkages. Um, and I can pull together information from different tables in a single report, and I've just done that. And you'll notice there's no performance impact. So uh, really simple to demonstrate, but a lot of explanation required, and I apologize for that. Let us know if you have any questions about server-side mashup. Um, I suspect you won't about the... Uh...